Good afternoon, Philippines, and welcome to your continuing coverage of the first and only professional volleyball league in our country. This is the 2021 PVL Open Conference season number four, coming to you live on One Sports and One Sports Plus, MJ Phillips and company. Ready for action in the PCV Socio Civic and Cultural Center in Bacara, Ilocos Norte. Your second game of your Sunday triple header after the Cherry Tigo crossovers were able to sweep the Petrogas Angels a while ago. Now we have the Balipure Purest Water Defenders looking to snap their two game skate against the streaking Santa Lucia Lady Realtors. Then later on, the Perla Spikers will be facing the PLDT Home Fiber. Power hitters. We thank you for joining us here on One Sports and One Sports Plus. My name is Migs Gomez and we are at your service for today. My partner is the one and the only Anne Mulia Kanda. Hello, Anne. Good afternoon. Hi, Migs. Great to be with you this afternoon covering this exciting match. As we take a look at our team standings, we get to see that the, the race is getting tighter, Anne. We, were, we are approaching. The semifinals, which will happen next week. This is day one of week number three. What are your expectations, especially for Santa Lucia and Bali Pure? Well, right now, we're looking at teams number five and number seven. And the goal for both these teams is not to add another loss uh, in their win-loss record. What you would like or what th both these teams would like is to make sure that they secure um, a higher ranking um, at this point. So... Right now, we have four teams here in the top four. No? Chocomucho, Green Line, Cherry, Tigo, Petrogas. For both these teams, match on hand today. It's important to secure the win today. And tamang tamang ayan. We are losing time at this point. It is a very, very fast pace for your 2021 PVL Open Conference. Let's talk about the Bali Pure Water Defenders first. Unfortunately for their squad, and it's back-to-back -back losses. But these were against the two teams at the top of the standings. Which makes the job not any easier, of <laughs> course, for, for this team. We've seen a bit of inconsistency in the way that they've played. But you're right. Not to take away anything from them, definitely that was a difficult assignment going up against the stronger teams uh, in, in this conference. As, as we take a look at uh, their numbers in that last match, it was a pretty good start actually for, for Bali Pure. So we, we saw how they were down 24-16 but they had that 7-0 run. But they still lacked uh, that push to get that win against Choco Mucho. It was uh, Choco Mucho getting their footing and Bali Pure just unable to overpower them. Remember, this team can be dangerous. They had a two-game winning streak before losing those two games. And Jen Kasugod, one of the top scorers for Bali Pure, one of the top blockers as well in the league so far. She's going to be very crucial for today. But in the previous game, she also came up big with 10 points. And this is a perfect way to say it, but it, it is indeed going to be a career revival for Kasugod. We've seen her as part of uh, different club teams in the past. She hasn't seen much action and... You know, these players get hungry to really show the talent, what they're made of. And she will be pivotal, definitely, in, in today's match. There you see the numbers for Jen Kasugod versus Choco Mucho. She has scored in double figures multiple times already this conference. It's going to be very interesting how she will perform in today's matchup. And Jen, as you can see, her smile. She is very much ready for today. We were able to talk to her before this match. Let's listen into that. Lahat naman kami binibigyan ng opportunities, opportunities ng mga coaches, even the second six. Pero kasi binibigay ko rin din yung best ko. Uh, kasi ako din yung pinakamalaki dyan sa loob. Ako yung, ako yung pinakamatanda sa kanila lahat. Uh, para ako yung nagiging role model nila, um, as a ate nila. Pero importante din kasi sa akin yung game, every game ko, importante sa akin. Kasi parang gusto ko rin talaga kasing manalo, gusto namin... Ialay yung mga panalo namin sa management, even sa families namin na nagsakripisyo kami. Ang dami namin sinakripisyo. Kaya yung mga games namin, pinagtitibayan talaga namin yung loob namin, binibigay namin lahat ng best namin para maka, makapanalo po ng bawat game. Talk about sacrifice and week number three 
wherein they're playing we have pvl six days a week and things are about to get even more interesting they're going up against mika reyes and the santa lucia lady realtors who on the other hand have been playing splendidly in the previous game they outlasted charity Pigo in five sets what a great match that was a good five setter game uh, you get your money's worth watching, uh, watching really. But uh, you know, Santa Lucia played a great game. The first two sets, uh, you see them winning uh, in a very convincing way, a very comfortable uh, win for them. But uh, Jerry Tigo, we know that team to also be a strong contender. They pulled off a good match on the third and the fourth sets. But Santa Lucia just making sure that they secure the win in that last and fifth set. Inunahan na nila ang Jerry Tigo just so that. They can close it out and win it in five sets. It was actually a dangerous situation for them. They lost sets three and four, but good recovery for Jonah Sabete and company. She was the third leading scorer in that match. And Jonah Sabete has come up very big, especially in the past two games. And she has scored in double figures after starting out a little bit slow in our conference. That is probably the best game that we've seen from Sabete so far. Uh, very impressive numbers. Um, you had mentioned double digit, 18 points. It's just stellar, stellar uh, stats for this lady. But on top of that, these 13 non-scoring um, uh, stats, no, itong reception, helped very well. We've seen in a couple of games how Sabete has been the target mm -hmm. of the serves of uh, their opponents. And so itong 13 receptions, 18 points, it's a very good balance and a good showing for Sabete. And this is something that uh, the team will be needing again today. They need to be consistent, but also the rest of uh, uh, the people in, in the team also need to ensure that uh, there will be support. Jonas Abete, you mentioned the defense. She's also a part of the top 10 in terms of receptions at 42% efficiency. So it's great to see her perform very well here for Santa Lucia. And we also spoke to her before this match. Masaya kasi iba kasi yung sa training namin, iba yung nangyayari, tapos iba din dito, which is parang kulang pa for me. Hope sana uh, may labas pa talaga yung 100% yung kung ano yung training namin sa, sa gym ng Santa Lucia at saka dito sa game na to. Gusto namin talaga makasama sa top 4, which is ngayon talaga nagrabe yung mga teams na Di namin na-expect na natatalo, na nanalo na teams na kahit na sobrang lakas din nila. Sobrang importante talaga, which is uh, gusto na makuha talaga yung three games na natira pa namin. Last three games, all very crucial for Santa Lucia. Mind you, they also have yet to face the Petrogas Angels. That is going to be very crucial for the Santa Lucia Lady Realtors as we approach the last two weeks, or we are in the last two weeks of the Open Conference. MJ Phillips, ito an, sinabi niya, they're playing every game as if it is a championship game for their squad. And why not? That's how all of these teams are treating this elimination round. Again, they only face the teams once, you know, in this round. So, bilanggit na natin yan. It's always crucial for them to get those wins. And Phillips has uh, proven to be one of uh, the stars of this uh, team, providing, uh, you know, High double-digit scores. Uh, and in that uh, match against Cherry Tigo, she scored 23 points. MJ Phillips has top scored for Santa Lucia four out of the six games. And you mentioned she is a top scorer for the squad overall. One of the best scorers in the league as well. And she's going to be matching up against also a very tough opponent tonight or today because the Bali Pure Water defenders, they also have a star in Grace Bombita. And there you see her. Remember, she was also one of the top catalysts, if not the top performer, when they also had that upset against Jerry Tigo. And, and you know that these are the names that the setters and the rest of the team would always rely on every time they would need that crucial point. All right, there we go. So, as we get ready for our match, let's take it to our arena announcer, Noel Zarate, for our referees and the starting lineups. And now our national referees for this match.
First referee, Erlindo Eusebio. Second referee, Joy De Imus. And now let's meet the starters first for the Santa Lucia Lady Realtors. Center from the College of St. Benil, number two, Janelle Chang. Middle blocker from De La Salle University, number five, Mika Reyes. Opposite hitter from Juniata College, number 13, MJ Phillips. Middle blocker from the University of St. La Salle, number 15, Del Palomata. Outside spiker from Arellano University, number 19, Chofi Prado. And outside spiker from Bulacan State University, number 20, Jonah Sambete. Starting liberal from Adamson University, number one, Bang Pineda. And the head coach for Santa Lucia is Edison Orculio. And now the starters for the Valley Pure Water Defenders. Outside spiker from Anderson University, number three, Bern Flora. Middle blocker from the Far Eastern University, number four, Jen Kasugon. Opposite hitter from De La Salle University, number nine, Gaira Barroga. Center from the University of Santa Tomas, number 11, team captain, Alina Vicar. Middle blocker from Arellano University, number 13, Shirley Salamon. Take a look at the starters for your Santa Lucia Lady Realtors. The same one for the past two games for their squad. Interesting as Jovi Prado has come off the bench in place of uh, Isa Maizo Pontilias and Jay Phillips who's moved to the opposite. And they have won back to back ever since that starting lineup change. On the other end, it's still the same six and the libero for the Bali Pure Purest Water Defenders. We've seen uh, coaches experiment, shuffled their uh, uh, starters just to try and see and get a feel, no? Who, which, uh, which set of players would work. And now we're seeing uh, those adjustments being made. Then again, this is the last third of the conference for Santa Lucia. Valley Pure playing their sixth game as well. Week number three. Day number one of week number three on your beautiful triple header Sunday for the PBL Open Conference, the fourth season this 2021. You're catching it this time on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Again, the players are in the PCB Socio Civic and Cultural Center in Bacara, Ilocos Norte. Biggs Gomez at your service alongside Andre Mulia Kanda. Vicar goes to Kasugod. Ball is alive. Cheng. We'll send it over to Prado. Bikar back to Asugun and she will score. And this we talked about earlier, how definitely they will utilize Kasugod in, in this match. It is, uh, well, she mentioned it, isa siya sa pinakamalalaki, isa siya sa bang ate, you know, on, on the floor. Jen Kasugod, third best in scoring in their squad in the conference. Let's see how she can continue this afternoon. DJ Cheng goes to Mika Reyes. Flora keeps it alive. Bombita, the cross court, retrieved by Pineda. And that will go in for Santa Lucia. Bali Pure was not ready for that one. Seems like a very uh, simple pop. And that's why coaches would always say, make sure yung mga mata mo hindi nawawala sa pagtingin sa bola. Jovi Prado serving now for Santa Lucia. We mentioned they started in the past two games. They won both of those games. And she has been very big for their squad. Unfortunately, a service error for her. Here's Grace Bombita, the first player of the week of the Professional Volleyball League, the first Professional Volleyball League, the PVL. Unfortunately, as we say these great things, no, Anne, about these players, <laughs> they, they make <laughs> these service errors. It happens. Uh, it happens. It happens a lot. <laughs> I'd like to think that we don't jinx <laughs> any of these. Uh, let's see how they will adjust Bali Pure with that soft shot. DJ Cheng onto Palomata. Back set. Baroga. That's a violation against 
Santa Lucia. Three to two, our score, Jen Kasugod at the service line. Bali Pure looking to snap their two game skid and regain their confidence after two losses against Creamline and Chocomucho. Palomata. Bicar goes to Bird Flora. Deflected, Palomata. They go to Sabete in the off speed. Baroga. Ball kept alive by Prado. And here's MJ Phillips. Great defense. Flora. That goes out. It was a long rally. Quite steady, but you know, they, they tried to keep it alive. MJ Phillips now serving for Santa Lucia, the leading scorer for their squad. Again, she mentioned it's a championship game as they try to... Every game is a championship game as they try to finish out the elimination round. Another huh? service error, and it has to be noted, a lot of service errors to start this match from both squads. Well, they've had three so far, unofficially counting, so, uh, but both squads have been committing these errors. Looks like uh, masyadong chill yung Sunday natin, no? <laughs> Even in Locos Norte. But uh, for, for both these teams so hard, far, we have yet to see that intensity. Mm -hmm. So you, you see them, uh, you know, playing this match, uh, but not very aggressive as of yet. Let's see if they can recover here. Flora, ball is alive. DJ Cheng on to Sabete. Angeles was there, and that goes over. Chance for Santa Lucia, Sabete. Alina on the 1-2. Great recognition by Phillips. And Santa Lucia will score. That is uh, Cheng getting that point. She really looked like she was going to set the ball. DJ Cheng is actually the top scorer when it comes to the setters in the league so far. For all our score, Burn Flora return to sender. Great net defense by Santa Lucia. No less our expectation from uh, Palumata. Getting that defensive wall right there at the net. One of the great additions of Santa Lucia, Del Palumata. She has started all of the games so far. In this conference, Flora down the line. Great angle targeted there by Flora. Well, I think we're warming up, and as you take a look at this spike of the set brought to you by Duncan, the players are slowly picking it up. I'm sure they have proven it time and time again that they have done their best to put themselves in great condition in this high level of competition. And there's Grace Bombita scoring here for Bali Pure. Back-to-back -back points for this squad. Through the block for Bombita. There's Palomata down the middle. She will score. There we go. The attacks are working for both squads. Palomata, good showing so far here in the first set. We've seen a block. We've seen an attack. Definitely being utilized by Ching. Six all, our score in the first set. Bicar, they go to Salamagos. Just tips it over. DJ Cheng onto Miga Reyes. Will there be a recovery here. Tough angle for MJ Phillips and Bali Pure will get the point. Back and forth we go, and what have you noticed so far within these two teams? Uh, offense is very steady at this point, but uh, Bali Pure at this point has already taken four points off opponent's errors. So Santa Lucia, I think this is a bit of a watch out on, on their end. Try to reduce the errors just to make sure that uh, you know they, they don't waste any chances. Unfortunately, it's a service error for Bali Pure on that one. We're tied at seven here. 
TJ Cheng is serving. Bicar, they go to Bombita, the cross court. Pineda was there easily. And MJ Phillips exploding as she scores down the line. Our first technical timeout won by Santa Lucia. 8 to 7, our score. Ranking number five, your best spiker this conference in scoring 19 heavy duty points in their last game against the crossovers. Jovi Prado of the Santa Lucia Lady Realtors mentioned to me na kailangan nilang habaan ng kanilang pasensya for today's game given na malakas ang depensa ng Bali Pure. More than that, critical ang kanilang service and reception upang makaunsad sa top four. Jovi also mentioned to me na kailangan nilang i-translate ang kanilang disiplina sa kanilang court training here in the next few matches. Nagpapasalamat siya sa kanilang mga fans na walang sawa ang pagsuporta win or lose man. Nandyan para sa Lady Realtors. Now let's go back to the PVL action with the Water Defenders and the Lady Realtors. Thank you Ai. There is Jovi Prado on your screen. She has been very big for Santa Lucia in their past two wins. At uh, sabi nga niya, kailangan mahaba ang pasensya. You can always win when you have, a, when you have that great patience for your squad. That's true. As an athlete, yun yung sinasabi nila dapat, totoo naman, mahaba ang pasensya and yun yung kapit. You mm -hmm. have to be patient. Kailangan mo kapitan bawat, uh, bawat laro. Kailangan mo talaga magtiwala rin sa team mo ngayon. We're going up against this dangerous Bali Pure squad. Both of these teams defeated Cherry Tigo, so you know what they can do. That goes out off of Burn Flora, so Santa Lucia gets another point. Can this be a good a good sign for their squad as they try to build their momentum in the first set. So far, Santa Lucia has scored four of their nine points out of their attacks, four out of this nine points out of Bali Pure's area. Unofficial count, mm -hmm. of course. Another point here, 10 to 7. The Lady Realtors building on with their momentum. DJ Cheng with the excellent serve. That cannot be recovered anymore by Bali Pure. And you know, first ball is always crucial. If you don't deliver it to your setter, you lose a chance to create a play. On the other hand, Bawi naman agad. Grace Bombita and Bali Pure. As Alina Bicard, the team captain, goes to their top scorer, finding the sideline just enough to put it in. Bicard serving. Prado, Cheng, they go back to Jovi. Great dig. Baroga. Pineda. They go to MJ Phillips. Back and forth. MJ. Bombita using the left hand. Still kept alive. Wow, great save. MJ. Great angle right there. Good idea. The recovery is still there for Bali Pure. And here comes Jovi Prado. Great rally. Baroga sent back. Ball still alive. Bombita. Rally is still ongoing. MJ Phillips. <laughs> that goes outside. And this is uh, where they say patience is yes. really needed. It was one of the longer rallies that we've seen here in this match. Wow, that just goes outside. Kanina, pinag-uusapan natin yung mahabong pasensya. Ito yun. <laughs> Ito yun. <laughs> I think Phillips had the right thing in mind, ano, dropping it there. But uh, again, it's very tricky when you're already at that sideline. Very little space to work with. Service error here for Bali Pure. Stinks got to hurt. So they were trying to tie things up. Now it's 11 to 9. Joby Prado will proceed to the service line. I remember back in the day, my, my coaches would remind us, no, if you're at the service line, you're actually alone there. Nobody's forcing you to commit that error at the service line. So, it, it's, uh, uh, of course, it's easier said than done. Yes. But, uh, you know, it, it's controlling your serves. It's mga wasted points. And so far, we've seen a lot of those er early here in the first set. 
But I think that's a very underrated thing. The pressure you receive na ikaw lang yung nag-iisa doon and you know everyone's watching Everyone you, right? Everyone is watching. In this case, of course, uh, out, their situation is different in the bubble but still, tama ka, there's still pressure. Especially if you're serving and uh, patapos na yung set and dikit yung laban. There's, there's so much pressure there. Mika Reyes now at the service line. 12 to 10 hour score. Mika, technically, she has been with Santa Lucia even before this conference, but she has only played five games with them prior to this one. So it's great to see them slowly but surely. Silanina Jonas Abete get gelled with the team. Now they score another one off the block. That's off of Sabete. And you see in that replay, sarado talaga ang bintana, walang dadaanan. Del Palomata, that time around, coming out on top. That net defense has proven very effective for Santa Lucia. 14 to 10. What does Bali Pier have to do here uh, to try to recover? They were keeping at pace in the beginning, but I guess there are these errors that they're unable to avoid. But we've seen also good plays and good offense from, from the team. It's just that it won't be enough knowing that uh, they, Santa Lucia has tall blockers. Like Palomata has, has blocked quite a number of times. Sabete had her own share as well. Let's see where the offense will go for the Bali Pure Water defenders here as Coach John Abelia and the players talk it out. 14 to 10 hour score. Once again, this is week number three of your PVL 2021 Open Conference. The elimination round is about to come to a close next week. And that also means semi-finals action na tayo next week. Abangan niyo po yan live on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Mika Reyes serving again. Ricar on the combination. Flora Cheng on to Phillips the opposite. We go back to Flora. Kept alive by Jovi Prado. And here's Jonas Abete exploding on the attack. What a clean hit from Sabete. And the speed of that offense, if you'll take a look at it, not enough time for the defenders to even take a step mm -hmm. and attempt to, to dig the ball. And I just love how she approaches that volleyball. Jonas Abete, you can see the flight on her. Mika Reyes scores here. So it's consecutive points for Santa Lucia. Don't look now, it's a six-point lead. Things are looking great for their squad as we are in the sec second technical timeout. Back here in the PCV Socio Civic and Cultural Center in Pacaray Locos Norte for your premier volleyball league, the 2021 Open Conference. Migs Gomez at your service alongside Andre Mulia Kanda for your match number 29, week number three. Mika Reyes serving once again consecutive points for the Lady Realtors. Carly Hernandez seeing action here for Bali Pure. DJ Chang on to Sabete. Kept alive. Can Bali Pure recover? That does not cross anymore. Another great attack from Jonas Sabete. This is where we see that the momentum of Santa Lucia is now picking up. You see, napaku na nila at 10 itong uh, Bali Pure. It, it, it uh, looks like, um, you know, it was a little bit of a slow start earlier. Dal Halos patay lang sila. But now you see the offense really on point for Santa Lucia. Likewise, they're blocking at the net. Nika Reyes has been serving consecutively here. 17 to 10. Another overdig for Bali Pure. 18 to 10 now. So Mika will go back once again to the service line. 
Coach John not really looking happy. Oh, there we go. Rise up, Abelmanians. Queen A has officially entered the building. Hopefully to inject a little bit of energy on the floor. That's what she's known for. Ganda ng ilag niya doon. Did you Atama see that? Ang ilag. <laughs> you know that if you're at the back of the court and the ball is above your waist, then it is probably on its way out. Bali Pure finally scoring here, 18 to 11. Kasugod serving. DJ Cheng, El Palomata. Judith, they go to Baroga. Defense is there for Santa Lucia. That's a violation against the Green Shirts. Oh, net violation, very clear. And she knew it. She was smiling after that. MJ Phillips. 12 serving 18. Ooh. Too long for Jen Kasugo. These errors, they really hurt the Bali Pure Pierce water defenders. Pontilias. She's the one who has been spending a lot of time on the bench ever since Jovi Prado got her minutes. But for sure, no, Isa Maizo Pontilias is still reliable as ever. One of the great names in Philippine volleyball as Santa Lucia once again prevails on the net defense. There's the approach. There's that wall. And Del Palomata will score in full authority. Another timeout is called. It seems like Bali Pier just can't get themselves going with a good momentum here, Anne. And they're trying to see the, how they can bring back that energy. They brought Abel in, but I, these errors that they've been committing needs to stop. And I think it, it has to um, really start from there. So let's see what adjustments they will make as they go back into the court. I think it's a good time to call that time out just to get get everyone calm, <laughs> get everyone focused again in, in the game. Alina Bikar talking to her teammate. That's Amy Ahomiro, also one of the former champions in the UAAP in that stacked Santa Lucia lineup. Bikar back sets to Baroga. There's a whistle here against Bali Pure. Goes outside. Atumama sa antena. There we go. Twenty-one serving twelve, Santa Lucia off to a great start here in the first set. Bicar on to Flora. Ooh. Tough angle. Starting from a poor first ball. They're unable to get that point. You mentioned the first ball is very, very crucial. Certainly Alina Bicar can only do so much. She was running for that volleyball. Twenty-two to twelve hour score. She's been running after the first ball. They lose their chance to create good plays. Meanwhile, on the side of Santa Lucia, you see the execution seems to be flawless. Cheng and her attackers connecting very well. Look at that first pass from Pineda. Credit that uh, point to her, actually. That was like tic-tac-toe for Santa Lucia. As Del Palomata scores on the run. 11-point lead, a service error for Santa Lucia, though. At this point, still a very comfortable lead for Santa Lucia. But again, for, for all of these teams na banggit natin kanina, all of the games are crucial. And it just, it doesn't matter if, uh, well, of course, it matters if you win the game. But the way you played and the quality of the game is also something that they're very particular with at this point. Because, um, you know, moving forward, yun nga eh, we, they play six games a week. So, lahat to importante so that the momentum really carries over up to the next uh, match. 23 to 13. Ben Tong inserted in the wall is there, but it goes outside. Jonas Abete scores once more. Set point for the Santa Lucia Lady Realtors. Jonas Abete will try to close it out. Up by 11. 
That offense is just looking smooth. Unfortunately, an error on the service for Jonah. And she knew that it was too strong. Valipure, mm -hmm. they have been scoring off the service errors of Santa Lucia. Let's see if they can capitalize on this one. Prado with big. Bendong, backup setter. There's Judith Abel. A lot of chemistry between those two players, Judith and Bendong, way back from their UE days. This is a much needed point for Bali Pure. Time out here by Santa Lucia as they would like to close this one out as quick as possible. You, you wouldn't want Bali Pure to have a good momentum, at least build their confidence approaching the second set. Burn Flora at the service nine for Bali Pure. They look to trim the lead. DJ Cheng, they go to Palomata on the quick. That still goes inside. Judith Abel will try to attack with the off speed. Cheng, one, two. Wow, great recognition by the setter of Santa Lucia. It's a. Uh Cheng has, has done that also earlier, and you know that she always gets a good read of the positioning of their opponent. And that is set number one. The Santa Lucia Lady Realtors take it against Bali Pure. Set one is done of your match number 29 here in the PVL. Santa Lucia, Lady Realtors taking it over Bali Pure. A lot of errors for the water defenders on the other end of the floor. Just great execution for Santa Lucia. And Santa Lucia, it, it's not just one name that we would frequently mention. You see that uh, it is, it is um, uh, real teamwork for, for the squad. The support is there. You would see uh, the blocking is working for them. You, Philip scoring, even their setter actually, uh, Ching, has scored quite a number of points. So you see how it's very much balanced, um, especially as they closed out that uh, first set. Santa Lucia, they actually did start slow as well. We mentioned that back and forth they went with Bali Pure and then consecutive points as Mika Reyes was serving and then they never looked back. They gave up a little bit of a cushion there for... Bali Pure with their service errors, but then again, they were able to finish it out. So a great first set for the Lady Realtors. They won it. There you go. That's Aizumaizo Puntillas. We still haven't seen her. Right? Maybe later on, we can see her in action on the other end of the floor. Bali Pure looking for answers from their own. And you see them discussing what adjustments they need to make. But we did see a lot of substitutions coming in for Bali Pure at the end of the first set. Judith Avil scored. Uh, even Liza Bendong saw action. Rosel Baliton. Uh, also their libero, si Carly Hernandez. Question is, where is that spark? Where will that come from as they try to recover here in the second set against Santa Lucia? Here in the second set, I guess at the very least, the expectations would be for them to be able to address their first ball. We've seen a bit of an issue, you know, for uh, them unable to create plays because uh, the setter just had to keep on running after the ball and you lose out that chance uh, with that. So I think if, if, if they're able to improve on it here in the second set, then things will be a little bit better, or if not much, much better for them. Let's keep an eye on that as Alina Bikar serves. We're talking about her as the setter of Bali Pure, and there is an error here. A violation called against Bali Pure. Another error, and to start things off in the second set. DJ Cheng. Flora. 
Pasugod. Sabete. Great recovery by Bali Pure. Baliton on the open. She knew that was a bit off. Again, starting off with uh, some errors here for Bali Pure. Three points for uh, Santa Lucia. There's a service ace for DJ Cheng. Santa Lucia still on a roll, not losing their groove ever since the middle part of the first set. You mentioned the first ball, and it's going to be very crucial for Bali Pure in the second set. Oh, uh, I think there's a rotational error on the side of uh, Santa Lucia. Again, Santa Lucia also, they make errors of their own, Bali Pure. Question is, can they take advantage of those points? And now Prado, I think, clarifying things with our first referee. But call remains, of course. Now they just need to make sure that Positioning-wise, on the court, they got it right. No overlaps, unnecessary overlaps. One serving three, Judith Abel. Pineda. Overreaching, called on Kasugod. You gotta let the setter get there first. Of the receive as Kasugod is called for the violation. A little bit too excited on that play. Again, another error for Bali Pure. Bikar, they go to Flora. Rejected. The blocking is there once again. Del Palumata and MJ Phillips working together. Oh, that's a tough wall to face. Look at that height. Combined? <laughs> Imagine seeing four hands right in front of you. Very intimidating, at least, no? Yung dalawang yan, MJ Phillips and Del Palumata. And there we go. Again, Del Palumata comes out on top. So far, Bali Pure is unable to penetrate that wall. Timing-wise, Palumata has it all figured out. Jen Kasugod looking for momentum for their squad. Six to one, MJ Phillips. This time the whistle will be called against them. And looking at some stats also here, Migs, from the previous set, and I think what Bali Pure is lacking is really scoring from the players we expect to score. Bombita only scoring two. Flora with one. Meanwhile, on the side of uh, the Lady Realtor, Sabete scoring six and Palomata with five. Mentioned the all-around offensive performance of Santa Lucia. Now we get to see the blocking coming alive for Bali Pure. Something that they can build on probably here in the second set. Cheng back sets. Another block, but it goes outside this time around. Sabete, so back serving for Santa Lu, up by four. Vicar goes to Baliton on the opposite, and she will score. Sel Baliton has found some light at that side. That deserves another look. In the middle of the two blockers. And that time, no, medyo malayo rin talaga si Palomata. Hindi siya nakadikit on the left side. Cheng. Makakabawi sa kabila. MJ Phillips responding to the call as we approach the first technical timeout of the second set. Santa Lucia still looking great.
Back for your PVL 2021 Open Conference season number four, your first and only professional volleyball league in the country. The Valley Pure, Pure Purest Water Defenders looking to snap a two-game skid against the Red Hot Santa Lucia Lady Realtors, who on the other end have back-to-back -back wins on their resume. Over receive. Santa Lucia now will try to attack Jovi Prado and she will score. Happy faces. Why not? Mm -hmm. They've been leading, they've been scoring. Great balance as well for Ching. Great distri distribution of sets. Another over receive for Bali Pure. We have been talking about that first ball. And Santa Lucia just taking great advantage here. Another timeout for the water defenders just really looking for uh, some great signs for their squad as they try to build on uh, with the points. No? They, ha they have been scoring off of errors, but one at a time lang, and then sunud sunud na naman for Santa Lucia. And definitely you cannot just wait for the errors of your opponent. You have to create those opportunities to score the points. They've been quiet here for the ladies in blue. Notice that Grace Mombita is not on the floor. She started in this match, but a little bit slow for her as well. So, is this a matter of Bombita? You know, parang uh, bumuebuelo ulit? Or are they looking for other performers for their squad, Body Pure? I think it works both ways, no? For, uh, for you to find uh, that spark plug, mm -hmm. who you can pull from the bench, who can deliver the points. But I think for, for Bombita, who we... She's a tried and tested player. It's good to give her that perspective outside of the court so that she sees what's wrong and probably what adjustment is needed should, should she come back and play. Battle on the net for that one. Santa Lucia wins it 11 to 4. MJ Phillips serving. And this is the first ball that we've mentioned earlier. No? Yes, they are able to receive and get the first ball. Hindi siya nag ace The problem is that they don't get to deliver it to the setter. So yung place nila nababasag agad. And uh, for Santa Lucia, they have an easier time retrieving the ball. Yeah. That sets up all these attackers, all these, these skilled and talented attackers for the green shirts. Unfortunately, Jovi Prado cannot get that above the net. Another one here, this time on the other side for Del Palomata. Some errors here from Santa Lucia. Again, can Bali Pure take advantage? Chance ball. Bicar, they go to Judith on the open and she will score. Just what they need. They have been looking for that energy. So is Judith Abel and her blonde hair the, <laughs> the answer for the Bali Pure Water Defenders? The spike of the set brought to you by Duncan. Well, they did get that point. They will need more points. And she is at the front line. Just as we say that Santa Lucia, babawi na managad. On the other end, 12 to 7. There's Grace Mumbita. It's going to be interesting how uh, Bali Pure can turn things around here. Another service error for Santa Lucia. It's raining <laughs> service errors today. <laughs> well, they would take it. They're still up 12 to 8. Shirley Salamagos. And just as we say that, and another service error. Just exchanging here for both squads. Thirteen serving eight. Jovi Prado's turn. Hopefully there's no more service error here. And it's good. It is, it is an ace. Wow. Balik tadagad ang storyline, 14 to 8, courtesy of Jovi Prado. Look at that serve. 
Carly Hernandez could not get to that one properly, as well as Vern Flora, who was running for that ball. Another one for Jovi. Bicar on the run. Kasugod will score. Great ex execution on that play. Coming off a uh, better receive as well. It's nice to see that they're able to utilize the height ano, and create these plays. So one of the few running attacks that we've seen from, from Bali Pier and it works for them. Nine serving 14. Cheng. Sabete sends it over. Alina back to Kasugod. Angeles will send it over to Baliton on the opposite. Set. Wow. Jonah Sabete just able to get that through as she scores. You see the jump and the way. Look at this. The contact of the ball is really on top. So the angle is so sharp when it lands the floor. What an attack. The spike of, oh, the, spike of the set brought to you by Duncan. Jonas Abet is still able to score off the tough angle. At the net. Chance ball. Flora will go to Baliton. Sent back. They're chasing for that ball again. And it goes outside. Second technical timeout here. Santa Lucia still looking good. 16 to 9. Back for your PVL 2021 Open Conference action. Santa Lucia leading 16 to 9. They won the first set, started off the second set very well. Couple of exchanges in the previous plays, but they still have control. DJ Cheng will serve. Bikar. They go to Pasugod, and that time around, she will score very comfortably. Finally getting a quick set. Pasugod. Judith now serving. Down six. Drops in for them. Ball still alive. Sabete sends it over. Chance ball for Santa Lucia. They go to ooh, Phillips in Sabete. Not much spacing on that one. Kasugun, unfortunately, cannot score on the play. What we're seeing right now with at least the way Balikur is moving, they seem to be less organized, you know, as, as they were previously. Parang ngayon, they're trying to, they're scrambling on the floor. Hopefully, they, they get to reorganize immediately before this seven-point lead of Santa Lucia balloons even more. The car will go to Flora here. Cheng on to Phillips, and that finds the back line. MJ Phillips scoring on the opposite. Great long cross-court hit. Look at how deep. That goes into the pocket. Wow. That corner. The accuracy on that play by MJ Phillips. He mentioned one of the top scorers in the league so far. Kasugo, it bounces off of her. There's that net defense once again for Santa Lucia del Palomata. 19 to 10. Another timeout is called. You mentioned Ganina and that uh, they needed to cut down that seven point lead. Here we are, another two points for Santa Lucia. And Santa Lucia, very clear that they have a goal today. Ang sabi nga, dapat lahat ng laro played like a championship game for Santa Lucia. 
so far game on point. Uh, doesn't help also that uh, Bali Pure is still finding its footing, you know, here in the second set. We haven't seen Bombita also back in action. We were talking about that. It's interesting what changes will happen for Bali Pure. But let me ask you this for Santa Lucia. How important is it for them to keep on building their momentum right now at game number seven? And they are approaching a match still against a team like Petrogas. And of course, next week, semifinals sa tayo. Yeah, definitely very important, Mix. We were talking about the team standings earlier. And yun nga sinasabi natin, no? right now, the, there are the top four teams. And for Santa Lucia, what this means is that the next few games, importante that they win. But how they win it is yeah. even uh, actually has more weight. Mm -hmm. Because they need to make sure that they peak at the right time here in this conference. It's going to be very, very interesting how things will turn out. 20 to 10. Flora is wide on the attack. Remember, Santa Lucia won the first set by double figures. So now they're up by 11 again. You mentioned it's how they win. And certainly, it's looking good for their squad. Flora on the approach. DJ Cheng back sets to Phillips. Deadly, as always. You see forceful attacks coming from the ladies in green. MJ Phillips just finding a hole in that defense of Bali Pure. 22, serving 10. Bikar back to Kasugo. And then that time around, DJ Cheng cannot get to the ball. So when they do have the chance, they try to go to Jen Kasugod, and she does convert from time to time. A lot of weight on her shoulders at this point. But now she moves to the back to serve. We talked about her in the pregame, 10 points in the previous match. Big, big role for Bali Pure as the third leading scorer. DJ Cheng back to Phillips one more time. How do you even stop her is the question. MJ Phillips just looking very spectacular in this afternoon. Burn Flora in the single coverage. Cannot be denied. Sabet is serving. Two points away from a second set win. Baliton sent back. Sabete was there, Cheng to Palomata, too long on the attack. Got too excited, <laughs> Palomata, too much force on that one. I love that she just oh. smiles and <laughs> ganun lang. And let me tell you something, Del Palomata, you know her life motto? What is her life motto? Her life motto is hashtag sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry guys with a smile. Yeah. <laughs> When I saw that in her profile, that just gave me a, a laugh for like five minutes. I love how fun these players are, these personalities in the PVL. 24 to 12. Santa Lucia looking to close out. MJ Phillips will serve. Poor first ball for Bali Pure. Chance ball. Cheng. They go to Prado. On the cross court, recovered by Bali Pure. Cheng, back to Jovi. Just tips it in. Ball still alive. Baliton. Chance wall here for Bali Pure. Can they capitalize? Burn Flora rejected at the net. Wow, great defense by Santa Lucia. Just doing it right on all aspects of the game as they win it again set number two the final score for that set 25 to 12 both sets so far winning in double figures for the lady realtors
Two sets done for match number 29 of your PVL 2021 Open Conference. The Santa Lucia Lady Realtors looking great here. Judith Abel on that play. <laughs> Enjoyed it, but uh, unfortunately for Valley Field, they just could not convert consecutive points. And then Santa Lucia making the pay on the other end. A bit disorganized if, if we would uh, uh, see the earlier set for, for Bali Pure. Nakita natin yung mga habulan or hindi sila nagkakausap no? kung sino yung kukuha ng bola. But uh, Santa Lucia just really making sure that they're able to get those points in. Again, like in the first set, Cheng able to utilize most of her attackers in front. Blocking. Yep. Still there, like like what you had mentioned. Uh, blocking is something that isn't going away, and it looks like it is there to stay. Something that Bali Pure needs to think of how they could penetrate those blockers. And I guess on their end, it's again going back to the basics, uh, getting that good first ball. Because we've seen it, if they get good first ball, na bibigyan ng uh, play si Kasugod, for yep. example, in the middle, they're able to get those points. As we look at the stats, and this is not. Any surprise, looking at uh, it very lopsided, 10 attack points for uh, Santa Lucia, only 5 for, for Bali Pier. So clearly, this is something that they need to work on, scoring those points. Blocking is also there. So siguro when they think of their offense, it has to be something that's not as predictable. Uh, because the blocking of Santa Lucia has been on point in the last two sets. To your point, at 5 attack points for Bali Pier, 5 block points for Santa Lucia. There you go. That's how that's how big the net defense is so far for the Lady Realtors. 12 points only for the Water Defenders in the second set. In the first set, they only scored 15. So the big question is, can this be a big, big third set for their squad? And it's going to be very interesting if we're going to see Grace Bombita back in action for the Water Defenders. Again, thank you for joining us on One Sports and One Sports Plus. Bombita is there to start the third set for Bali Pure. MJ Phillips on the attack. Kasugod at the middle. Ball still alive, sent by Mika Reyes. Here's Grace. Cross court, Pineda was there. And here's Jovi Prado on the approach. Chance ball. Bikar sends it over and she will score. Great move by Bikar. Putting the scoring into her own hands. Para maumpisahan na on the side of Bali Pure. Very important, very crucial third set for Bali Pure. It helps if they can get the lead ahead of Santa Lucia. At least it takes away a bit of the pressure, no? Na kailangan nila maghabol. And Grace Bombita coming out on top. With that block, that's back-to-back -back points. As Anne mentioned, it's very crucial for a good start here para sa Bali Pure Water Defenders. And it's good to see Bombita back on the floor once again. Unfortunately, it's a service error. That's gotta hurt for Bali Pure. Not helpful at all. We've seen uh, in the stats earlier, they gave Santa Lucia, I believe, six uh, points coming off uh, errors. Prado serving, one to two. Kasugod at the middle. That has been working for Bali Pure each and every time, or at least mostly, you know, if they do get the chance to go to Jen. Bombita now serving for the Water Defenders. Looking to snap her two game skid and there is another service error. The second point for Santa Lucia off of those service errors of Bali Pure. Nika will try to tie things up here. Flora sends it over. And she will score off the block. Well timed. Nice to see them smiling <laughs> on the floor. And their attacks have been working as well in the set so far. 
Can they continue and avoid those errors? DJ Cheng, Sabete on the other hand, cuts it for Santa Lucia. Sabete in the earlier set, scoring eight points, six attacks, and uh, two block points. She's been uh, very instrumental uh, for Santa Lucia's wins in the first two sets. Sabete has gotten her groove after this transition with the Lady Realtors. There you go, once again, Jonah Sabete. She has been in double figures in the past two games. She mentioned sa, the game actually, na, you know, really, she has felt the chemistry. Uh, it has developed for her and her team. The passing, it, ha it had to be, you know, improved for their squad, but now they're looking good. Flora sent back. Chance ball here for Santa Lucia, tied at four. DJ Cheng goes to Palomata. Too long though. Now Baroga will serve. Started in this match as she has in all of the games so far of Bali Pure. Pineda. They go to Sabete on the approach. Wow. He just knew it as he was approaching for that attack. Very explosive jump. Gaining momentum as she uh, goes mid-air. I think the motion of her legs just increases the you know yung, yung animation niya when it comes to the attack. High leaper, good uh, swing mm -hmm. also. Bali Pure here, converting on their attacks. Six serving five. Certainly has started a lot better compared to the first two sets. DJ Cheng, they go to Palomata, who sends it over. Bicar will go to Bombita. Nahabo ni Bang Pineda. Great recovery by Sabete. Down the middle, Shirley Salamagos will score for Bali Pure. Hindi nakuha ni Palomata, one of our top blockers here in this match. Great effort right there for mm -hmm. Santa Lucia. But then, Bali Pure, this time around, able to capitalize. Finally, coming to life. Unfortunately, that's another service error, which is how they started in this match. Kaya nakakascore ang Santa Lu. And that's gotta hurt. So you score the points, but then you give away some mm -hmm. uh, from, from uh, these service errors. They could have had a comfortable lead here, but were tied because of those errors. Santa Lucia still holding their ground as they try to close this one out. Bicar will send it over to Bombita. Cross court. That goes outside again. And Santa Lucia would win the first technical timeout here. 8-7 to seven in favor of their squad. Back for your action in the PCV Socio Civic and Cultural Center in Bacara Ilocos Norte. Your first and only professional volleyball league in our country, Santa Lucia versus Bali Pure, match number 29 of your PVL Open Conference, season number four is 2021. Migs Gomez at your service alongside Andre Mulia Kanda. 
Bali Pure lost the first two sets. Back and forth we go here in the third set. Their attacks have been working from time to time, but service errors have definitely hurt them. Now Santa Lucia looking to capitalize up by one. Another service error this time around coming from Palamata. Too much power on that serve. Na isip po talaga yung tuloy yung hashtag. <laughs> sorry guys. Sorry guys, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Alam mo matatawa pa sana ako kung ano eh, kung sorry coach yung nakalagay din coach. Sorry, sorry. Guys. Akin coach akin. <laughs> Eight all. Mika Reyes able to score on the approach. Back and forth. We're trading points here. Now DJ Cheng at the service line. Coach Ed giving instructions to uh, Cheng also at the, at the service line. Very active coaches mm -hmm. we have here. Another attack error for Grace Bombita. She has been trying to cut it onto the right side. Unfortunately, it has been wide for her. It's been going long. Uh, it seems like she's still finding her range again. Remember, she sat out most of the second set, if not the whole of it. Flora from the back. Cheng, now combination. Ball is still alive. Flora to send it over. It reaches in. Jovi Prado. That's a call against Bali Pure. Eleven eight hour score, DJ Cheng and the Lady Realtors looking to increase the lead even more. Over receive. Bombita will give out the chance ball. DJ will go to Mika Reyes, set back. Sabete. Flora will go to Bombita. Can this time around? It works this time around for her as she will score. Unfortunately for Santa Lucia, an error called against them. Big car. See her catching her breath. Mm -hmm. 12 excellent sets so far. Hard earned excellent sets. Hard earned. Now NJ Phillips scoring once again for Santa Lucia up by three. Trading points here. Our Duncan spike of the set. There is MJ Phillips coming alive. Over receive again. Jonas Sabete regalo para sa kanya. Ang sarap tumanggap ng regalo. <laughs> that must be what she was thinking. And you see that vertical leap, you know, because she has a very high jumping ability. Look very easy for Sabete. 13-9, Jovi with three points so far. Bikar, they go to the opposite. And there's Grace Bombita. Can this be the start for her as she tries to gain her momentum in this match. Finally, we have been waiting for that. That spike of the set is brought to you by Duncan Grace Bombita. And that's what we are used to seeing from her, no? a forceful attack such as that. Valley Pure. They're gonna try to capitalize here. Really looking much better than the first two sets. It's from Bita will serve. They go to Sabete. Flora was there. Now from the back. DJ dips <laughs> it over. Wow. Makes it look so simple. <laughs> this lady right here. <laughs> I mentioned she, she has been doing that all conference long. And the, the thing is, you, you see that the people on the other side of the court still expect that she would set the ball. Yes. And she would make that decision last minute. 
There's a wide hole in the middle. 14 to 11. Kasugod will attack. Sabete sends it over. Unfortunately, Bali Pure cannot get that across. Take a look at it. Baroga. 15 serving 11. Santa Lucia trying to pull away here. Tough, tough one. As Mika Reyes gets a service a 16 to 11. The Lady Realtors looking to close this one out. Mika Reyes at the service line, effective. Carly Hernandez cannot get to that ball properly. And Mika sending us to the second technical timeout with a score of 16 to 11. Now she's back at it. Santa Lucia looking for win number four as they try to get over the 500 mark in the standings. Valley Pure. They are looking to snap their two-game losing streak, but unfortunately, Del Palomata and company have come out really just firing on all cylinders this afternoon. Taking advantage of all those uh, over-received. Flora sent back. The attacks are there for Santa Lucia. The blocking is there as well. What more can we ask for? Bali Pure unable to penetrate those blocks. It's been hard. If you can see, you know, the height disparity also. You see Palomata and Phillips right in front of you. Mm -hmm. Indeed, it will be a challenge to get the ball through. You see the, some Bali Pure players encouraging their teammates. Liza Bendong talking to her teammates. You can never count any team out here in the PVL and certainly hanggat hindi pa umaabot ang 25 points yan. Laban lang. Again, this is the first and only professional volleyball league in our country where the best, the best talents are gathered together in competition. Bikar. Baroga. Cheng was there, and here comes MJ Phillips. Rejected. On the other hand, great defense at the net for Bali Pure. Just what is needed at this point? Getting a good read and great time. That was actually Flora getting that block. Must have felt so good. Yeah. <laughs> they need it. I, I think they need it. Um, they need to. Also turn the tables, turn the momentum on their side. Down six here. Anything can happen. Sabete sends it over. Sati Espiritu also seeing action. And MJ Phillips will score. So it's unfortunate for Bali Pure that they just can't score consecutive points here. Santa Lucia able to recover from time to time. Another over-receive. And Palomata capitalizes on yet another regalo, as we should say. That height just towering over Bali Pure today. Del Palomata has come up very big for Santa Lucia. 20 serving 12. Baroga on the opposite. Pineda was there. Sabete. Flora, on the other hand, kept alive by Prado. Palomata. Sabete's turn. 
Great rally. Flora sends it over. Cheng onto the back row. Phillips. Back to Flora. Sent over by Cheng. Still alive. Baroga. Great rally. Unfortunately, it's an off angle for Jonah Sabete as it goes outside. Point goes to Bali Pure off that very long rally. Sabete. Too wide on the attack. He's going to smile it over. They're still up by seven. Kaira Baroga and company looking here to build a good momentum to try to save themselves in this match. Great dig. Flora on the attack. And she will score. Can this be a turning point here for the water defenders? Flora breathing life into uh, the ladies in blue. Hopefully not too late. And dito yung sinasabi natin, if they're patient enough, kung kaya nilang kapitan, they need to play flawless volleyball also from this point on. Down six, Baroga serving again. And just as we say that, another service error for the water defenders. But it's got to hurt. Sayang, they just got back-to-back -back points. Could have been a good chance for them to keep on going. Sabet is serving. Santa Lucia looking to close this one out. Flora, the cross court. DJ Cheng will send it to Prado. Flora tips it over. Cheng on the one two. She's been enjoying that. And uh, clean points as well, Bad. para kay Cheng. <laughs> 22 to 40, DJ Cheng scoring once again. Another timeout here. Might be the last Hail Mary for the Bali Pure Water Defenders. Eight points down in set number three. Twenty-two to fourteen, Jonah Sabete and the Santa Lucia Lady Realtors closing in on the third straight victory. Unless a miracle happens here for Bali Pure, you could never count them out. Unfortunately, a miscommunication right there on the second ball. And now Santa Lucia is two points away. Definitely, first ball has been a pain point for Bali Pure in this match. Uh, Something that uh, you know needs quick correction as they, as they get into the next few games, but Santa Lucia came here with a goal, and even luck is actually on their side. Wow, things cannot get any better for the Lady Realtors. Jonas Sabete with the help of the net. I don't even know what to call that. Magic sir, batawag jan. <laughs> Tricky yun eh, cause sometimes pagka sa sabit sa net, diba? it can go either way. Back, uh -oh. In her case, it was a lucky one. Wow, match point. Up by ten, Flora. Too long. And that's gonna be it. The Santa Lucia Lady Realtors in dominating fashion this afternoon, winning all three sets by double digits. It's been a uh, you see the joy in their faces. Again, sinasabi nga natin, it's not just about adding that uh, win in your record, but also how you win that match. And it's a very convincing win today for Santa Lucia. 25-14 to 14 to close this one out. We'll be back to wrap this one up.
Back in the PCV Socio Civic and Cultural Center in Bacara, Ilocos Norte, where the Santa Lucia Lady Realtors have successfully obtained their third straight victory, and it has been an all around performance from their squad. Great showing, very convincing win. We've mentioned uh, the players to watch out for, of course, earlier. It's been a very balanced game, actually, for uh, Santa Lucia. We've seen great distribution from uh, Ching uh, across all of her attackers, but uh, the player who stood out today is none other than this lady. Jonas Abete, we mentioned, has scored the double figures in the past two games, coming alive once again. We should give a shout out to other players like Del Palomata who has been very active at the net defense. MJ Phillips still scoring at will. I mean, even DJ Cheng was scoring at will. This great performance from their squad. Jonas Abete, excellent with her performance. And she is with Aitinsai on the floor. Two sets and sa pangatlong set nakahabol yung kalaban sa opisa pero hindi to Miguel ang yung mga atake leading this game into a straight sweep. What was going through your mind all throughout? Um, lagi na yung pinag-usapan yung lagi kami mauuna. Kahit yes. kung kahit ma, uh, mahabol kami, at least kami, uh, magiging mauna pa rin kami kahit oh, yes. anong, uh, kahit anong mangyari. <laughs> and yun, lagi naman sinasabi ni coach at na, ni sir uh, body na lagi natin i-handle lang yung pressure kung may pressure man tayong na, na nararamdaman. Ma-overcome lang. Any message for your fans, Jonah? Uh, uh, thank you po sa mga supporta at lalo na po sa mga management and sa family namin. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga tiwala at supporta at thank you din po sa mga inspiration namin. Ayon, congratulations muli, Jonah. There you have it, Jonah Sabete of the Santa Lucia Lady Realtors. See you in later's game live in Ilocos Norte. Thank you, Ai. Congratulations to Jonas Sabete and company in double figures once again for Santa Lucia getting win number four of the conference. Up next, the Perla Spikers will be facing the PLDT Home Fiber Power Hitters in your third game on your Sunday triple header. This is day number one of week number three of your PVL 2021 Open Conference. Exciting things coming for all of you PVL fans. Thank you for joining us here on One Sports and One Sports Plus. In behalf of our director, Odell Campo, our executive producer, Malu Neri, I can sign my partner, Andre Mulia Kanda. My name is Migs Gomez. Maraming maraming salamat at mabuhay ang bawat atletang Pilipino.